Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a fragrance from the house of Dua. So Dua, if you don't know about Dua, they make fragrances for inspirations or clones of other fragrances. And they have original fragrances from their own lineup. So this is an exclusive lineup. They have, I think, five or six men and five or six female fragrances. So this one here is particularly one I like a lot. I'm going to tell you why I like it and the pros and cons in this video. This, this bottle was lent to me to borrow by Stephen from Red Lessons. So thank you, Stephen. I appreciate that. I'm going to leave his YouTube channel down below. He talks about all the fragrances. So definitely check out his channel and click that subscribe button. So today we're talking about a fragrance called Encounter Sense. That's the name of the fragrance lineup. And this is Confident for him. They have a bunch of other ones with different names, which is kind of weird. I would say kind of cheesy with the name on it, but it is what it is. So this is 100 ml. This is Extra de Parfum. So this one here is more high concentrated, more heavy fragrance. Wooden little cap here, kind of plastic, black inside of it. Um, you can see the juice in the back of it. The atomizer shoots out a good amount. You can see there. Uh, I'm gonna spray some on my skin. Sprayers are good. This fragrance goes for about $84.99. Um, they do have a 50% off. They always have discounts on their websites. Uh, I'll leave the link down below. So you pay like $72, $73 for a 100 ml bottle like this. Notes in this fragrance are grapefruit, lemon, ginger, lavender. We have uh, vetiver, we have patchouli, sandalwood, benzoin, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and white musk. A lot of notes in this fragrance, but always notes not in the fragrance. Opening of this fragrance, you're gonna get a freshness, a cleanness. You're gonna get, on my skin, I get more of the grapefruit in this fragrance. This reminds me more of a Blue de Chanel. Uh, more of like the EDT and the EDP in this fragrance here. The opening with that freshness in it. So if you like fresh and clean kind of citrus fragrances, you're definitely going to like this fragrance here. If you're not into fresh and clean fragrances, you're not gonna like this fragrance. That's pretty simple. Now, in the middle of the fragrance, you're gonna pick up some vetiver in the fragrance. I don't pick up no lavender because it's not a sweet fragrance. This is a freshy type of clean fragrance um, that you can just pull off um, day in and day out. There's really nothing special about this fragrance. Um, for me personally, on my skin, it doesn't change as much. So the opening and the mid are pretty much the same throughout the life of the fragrance. So for me personally, performance-wise, about an hour and a half of projection, uh, full arm's length, I have no complaints with that. After that, it comes very closer to the skin. And between the mid and the dry down, it kind of uh, dips down really bad and it comes closer to the skin because this is a fresh kind of base clean fragrance. It has sweet notes in it, but, there, but it doesn't come sweet on my skin at all. It's pretty much downhill. And it's pretty much, I get some dry vetiver, kind of greeny like, and that grapefruit stays there, but it's kind of faded with the citrus in the background. I, I do like this fragrance, but the performance is where I'm gonna have the issues at. Longevity, I'm getting about five to six hours, and six hours is being generous. I'm doing about five sprays on my wrist here, and I do about two sprays on my neck. So a total of seven sprays, and I get about five to six-ish hours wearing it to work. Compliment factor. Didn't get any compliments wearing this fragrance here. Even though we're in quarantine, I mean, I have got compliments with other fragrances that I've worn. This one here, nobody said anything. I mean, nobody said anything negative or positive, so it's not a bad thing. It's just I didn't get any feedback saying you smell nice, you smell fresh, you smell clean. No feedback at all. Seasons and occasions. Uh, you can wear this all year round if you want. I feel like the best time to wear this is spring and summer um, because it's more heat outside, more hotter. I feel like this might project a little bit more, might last a little bit more, but in the fall and winter, it's gonna go downhill. I mean, you're literally gonna have to bring this bottle or decan and reapply it after maybe four or five hours of being on your skin because this, this, this is a fresh, clean based fragrance and it just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. I mean, I know it's high concentration, but this one doesn't really perform the best off of my skin. I want to try some others from the lineup and see if they perform because they do smell good. I tried out the whole line uh, when I was hanging out with Steven from Red Adolescent Channel. But this one here, I like it a lot from the, from the opening smell with that grapefruit, that citrus fresh opening. It smells awesome, but then the mid and dry down just fall downhill. And I can't recommend you to go out and buy this fragrance. I recommend you to, when they have a sample set, buy a sample set, see if you like it. If you like similar fragrances like Blue de Chanel, um, um, you're definitely going to like this because it has that grapefruit opening like Blue de Chanel has. But after that, I mean, if you're paying 72 bucks for this on this counter, I feel like another $30 more, you could probably get um, a 50 mil of uh, Blue de Chanel, the EDT version or the EDP. Definitely pick that up over this one. But if you're on a budget and I know Chanel's are expensive, definitely check this one out here. I do like it, but there's a lot of cons in this fragrance and it's one of those fragrances that you're not going to get really noticed. Somebody might say you smell fresh and clean, 
pain. This isn't going to be a panty dropper. This isn't going to be a complicated monster. No, this is more of a close to the skin fragrance. This could be a great date fragrance, a great work fragrance. Um, this could be your safe signature scent if you don't want to be Mr. Cologne guy. You just want to have something smell nice when people come around you. This is great, but other than that, it's not really worth the the, the $84.99 to $72 price point, in my opinion, but it do have discounts, so it might go down to maybe 60 if they had the 20% off, then yeah, get it for 60 bucks. It's awesome, 100 ml bottle, and it smells nice. It's pleasant, it's safe. There's nothing not to like about it, but for me personally, the performance is not the best. I expect more with this high concentration. So ladies and gentlemen, if you heard his fragrance and counter sense the company, confident for him, leave your comments down below. If you like this lineup, let me know. If you're into fragrances, um, you like reviews and giveaways, hope you can show your support by clicking that like button, clicking that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.